Previously, we've been talking about the various Buddhas, the Nirmadasi, uh, Padmutara, and so on down. Now, we don't have a lot of information about all of these Buddhas in the Tree Pitika, but it so happens that we have a lot of information about this Buddha, Vipassi. Vipassi was the seventh Buddha previous to our Buddha. His name means, it's related to Vipassana. Vipassana means something like insight or special type of seeing. And his name means that he has insight. He was a wisdom Buddha. Now the reason we have uh, a lot of information about Vipassi is because the longest discourse that the Buddha ever gave was uh, about this particular Buddha. If we recite that discourse at its full length, it's 126 Bhanavaras, it would take about 40 hours to recite the discourse. I've got about 15 minutes <laughs> to try to tell you part of the story, okay? Obviously, can't tell you all the story. In that discourse, though, the Buddha talks not just about Vipassi, but about Sikhi, Vesabhu, Kakusanda, Kunagamana, Kasapa as well. That means all the other Buddhas that preceded uh, Lord Buddha, our Gautama Buddha. Uh, but the main story is about Vipassi in that sutta. Then the Buddha was one time staying in Jaitavana. You know Jaitavana because we always um, recite about uh, the Buddha being in Jaitavana. He was normally in the perfumed um, kuti, but this time he was in the circular pavilion. And then the monks were talking about past lives, you see. So the Buddha went in and asked them what they were talking about. And they told him, we're talking about past lives. And he said, he knows the past lives of all these Buddhas. So the monks asked him to tell the story. So he told 91 aeons previously we previously told that an aeon is one Big Bang to another Big Bang. 91 Big Bangs before our Buddha Gautama, there was uh, a king and a queen living in uh, Bandumati, which was the capital city. It's what we now call Varanasi or Banaris. So the king was called Bandhava, the queen was called Bandhumati. They were of the Kondanya clan and they were Katiyas. That means they were nobles or the kingly uh, class of people. In Buddha Vipassi's time, then people did not live like our short amount of time just 100 years. This is a very, very short time indeed. In Buddha Vipassi's time, they lived for 80,000 years. So after some time, then the king and the queen had a son. The son they named Vipassi. Right. And then he grew up and all the kind of Things that happen according to natural law also occurred to Vipassi. That means in his life before his last birth, he was born into to heaven. When he was uh, uh, conceived in the queen, then uh, the queen carried the baby for 10 months. It's always a law that the queen will carry a bodhisattva for 10 months to the day and then they give birth. It's also normal 
that when the uh, baby is born, it's able to stand, it walks seven steps, and then it uh, makes a certain statements saying, I am the greatest in the world, I am the highest in the world, um, uh, and that this will be my last life. They always do this. And also, all the mothers, seven days after giving birth, pass away. This is part of natural law, if you like. Some things belong to natural law, and some things that occur to all the Bodhisattvas, all the Buddhas, and some things are different. So the length of life, for instance, is different. Our Lord Buddha lived for 80 years, but Buddha Vipassi lived for, uh, I think, 64,000 years. So it's a much longer period. He had the 32 marks of the great men, great man, just like our Buddha had. And the Brahmins declared that he would either become a universal monarch or he would become a Buddha. Now this child, even when it was a baby, was a very special child and it could discriminate between right and wrong. The reason we know this is that one time the king had the baby on his lap in the uh, court at his palace and then the ministers gave a judgment on the ownership of property and the uh, judgment they gave was wrong it was a wrong judgment and when they gave the judgment the baby started crying and then the king didn't understand why is the baby crying and the sages in the court explained it's because a wrong judgment has been given so the king said, reverse the judgment. And then they reversed the judgment and the baby stopped crying. So the king wasn't convinced about this. So he said, reverse the judgment again. So they reversed the judgment again, making it a wrong judgment. And the baby started crying again. Okay, so this baby, even from when he was very young, was very wise and he was understood right and wrong of what was justice and what was not justice. Now he had three palaces just like our Buddha and he had a beautiful queen, a beautiful uh, princess rather, uh, his wife Sutana. Just like our Buddha, he also went out in a chariot on four separate occasions and he saw the four signs. The four signs are an old man, a sick man, a dead man, and then a recluse, somebody who was living at peace because he was trying to understand the nature of reality. He was a, what we would now say, a monk. So, Having seen these sights, he went forth from the palace, he shaved off his hair, both his head hair and his uh, facial hair, and he went into seclusion. That same day, another natural law occurred, which is his son was born on that day, just like Rahula was born on the day that uh, uh, Siddhartha went forth. Now one of the things that is different about this Buddha is our Buddha was performing austerities for six years as Dukkha Charya. He was performing for six years but Buddha Vipassi was only performing uh, uh, those um, for eight months. All the Buddhas sit under a Bodhi tree, like our Bodhi tree. But the difference is 
There are different Bodhi trees for each of the Buddhas. They don't sit under the same, this is a big tree, yeah. But that's not the tree that Buddha Vipassi sat under. Buddha Vipassi sat under a trumpet, um, a trumpet flower tree. That's that yellow tree, that yellow flower that is very nice. We sometimes see them here. And he attained awakening. Now, just like our, Buddha, our Bodhisattva, he hesitated to teach. And um, then Mahabrahma came down from the heavens and requested that the, Bodhis, uh, that the Buddha, who was by this time the Buddha, he requested that the Buddha would teach. So he was in the Kaimadiya Park in Bandumati and he thought of his brother, Prince Kanda, and he thought also of the Purohita's son, Tissa. Those were his friends when he was back in the palace. So, unlike our Buddha, who taught the five ascetics, the group of five, he called for Kanda and Tissa to come and uh, to the park. When they came, he taught the Dhammachaka Pavatana Sutta. Just like our Buddha, just like all Buddhas, all Buddhas teach the Dhamma Chakrapavatana Sutta, but not to the same people. So there's differences. And there's, there's some things that are the same and some things are different on, with all the Buddhas. Then, when uh, Vipassi had gone forth, 84,000 people also became reclusives. And now that he became a Buddha and he had called and taught these uh, two people from the palace, 84,000 more people uh, went forth and became uh, monastics. So there is now 168,000 people in the Sangha at that time. He taught all the normal things, generosity, morality, heavens, the dangers and sensual desires, renunciation, uh, and then the Four Noble Truths. And all these people, the 168,000, became Arahats. And he sent them out to teach the Dhamma. Now then, our Lord Buddha lived at a very short period of life. He only lived for 80 years and he spent most of that year, most of that time, 45 years teaching Dhamma all the time. But Buddha Vipassi's uh, period, they were living to 80,000 years and he only taught occasionally. Because of this, Buddha Vipassi's sasana was not long lived. It, it was long lived in terms of years, but not in terms of generations. We're now in, I don't know, something like 30th or 40th generation of our Lord Buddha's Sasana. But with long lived Buddhas like Vipassi, then they only pass on to one or two generations. So it's a long time in terms of years, because they were living a long time, but it's a short time in terms of uh, uh, generations. And then the sasana was again lost, just like this sasana in the future will be lost. Now at that time, our Bodhisattva, who became Siddhartha and then became Buddha Gautama, was a Naga king living in <coughs> under the waters in, uh, in, you know, near Bandumati, near the state of Bandumati. And he came to know that the Buddha Vipassi had arisen in the world, so he built a pavilion for him and he decorated it with the seven precious stones. And then he invited the Buddha and the Sangha all to come for Dharma and 
he gave dana to the buddha and the sangha for seven days and then he received the confirmation that he would become a buddha in the future the time when he would be re reborn as siddhartha so that's one confirmation but there was another confirmation as well which was of Kondanya. We told Kondanya's story a couple of weeks ago. Kondanya was the first one to understand the teaching, the first one to penetrate the teaching, the first one to become a stream enterer in this sasa. Okay, but Kondanya was also born in Vipassi's time and then he was known as Chulakala and nine times he gave to Buddha, Buddha Vipassi nine times he gave the first fruits from his crop and then his future greatness also was confirmed so it's another thing that we know about uh, uh, Buddha Vipassi's time is he confirmed not only our Bodhisattva but he also confirmed Kondanya now then because we can't tell the whole story unless you're willing to sit here for a few days and you'll probably get leg ache before that happens we'll uh, finish it up now but uh, the important thing is the Buddha our Buddha talked about two Buddhas in particular the first Buddha is Vipassi he also told the stories or the outline of the stories of these other people, of these other uh, Buddhas as well, but not in great detail. But the other Buddha that he told stories about was the coming Buddha, Buddha Mekteya. So next time, when we uh, have another proposer, I'll try and tell you the story of the Bodhisattva now, Mekteya, and later he will become the Buddha. Okay? So everybody say Sadhu. Sadhu. Sadhu.